hi guys this is Raja uh, in this tutorial I'm going to give you some basic information about the animation okay so let's go into the tutorial I'm, I'm going to create a two object so game object create other and create a cube and I'm going to scale it out and next I'm going to create a sphere game object create other and a sphere and I'm going to scale it out okay now I'm going to make the cube as a child of the uh, of the sphere this is called parent child relationship the parent child relationship concept is very important in the animation field it is used in each and every department of the animation field okay now I'm going to make the cube as a child of the sphere okay first you select the child object that is the cube next hold the control key in windows or command key in mac and select the sphere okay go to game object and make it as parent now you can see the sphere the cube will be under the sphere it, this indicates that the sphere is the parent of the cube what will happen when we make it make make the cube as a parent or as a child to the sphere if you move the sphere the cube will also move along with the sphere if you rotate or scale it will also affect the cube what happen if we move the cube the movement of the cube will not affect the movement of the sphere or any properties like if i scale it out it's not going to affect if i rotate the object it is also not going to be affected this is called parent child relationship it's very important relationship you can have n number of child for a parent on uh, it's like it okay uh, next i will teach you how to do edit uh, animation curve okay i'm going to i'm going to select the parent i'm going to be um, next i'm opening the animation window next i'm going to create animation for it I have created it okay in the animation window of the parent will also show you the animation property of the child you can edit the animation property from the parent animation window okay I'm going to edit the animation property okay I'm going to edit the exposition I'm going to the first second I'm going to edit the position again six one I think it's very long okay it's okay I have made I have edited the animation property of the child let us go and see what happens in the child object okay you can see there is no ch animation property has been added to the child object but if you select the parent object you can see animation property has been added okay let us play the game and see what is happening in the game you can see the game object is animated automatically because we have enabled play automatically checkbox the same method I used in this object okay this object is the parent of this child of this if I animate this object the object get animated you can see that the same method I used for this also can see it is also getting animated okay now I'm going to teach you how to edit an animation animated curve okay go to the animated curve which you want to edit in animation window and press F key in the keyboard to focus it select the place where you want to add a key select the place using the cursor the uh, red color line that we used to call the cursor and press this add key frame button in the toolbar now you will get a key frame is being added or you can double click the curve to add a key frame in that place or you can press the K key in your keyboard to add a key okay now there are different method to 
animate or to change the interpretation that is we used to call interpretation the distance the if this is a key first key and this is a second key the in between curve we used to call as interpretation okay we can change the flow of this in between curve by right clicking the keyframe and select freeze mode when you select the freeze mode there will be two tangent will be appeared on the either side of the keyframe if you move the keyframe or the tangent sorry the tangent the key the interpreter curve will also get affected okay this get affected what you can what are the addition method you can use to edit the tangent there are few methods which unity provides for you just right click the keyframe and select break this breaks the connection between this two tangent okay you can independently move the tangent key independent of each other okay if you want this two tangent to be perpendicular that is coplanar again right click and say flatten okay the flatten makes the makes the two this is a special case of free smoothing okay this tangent breaks two uh, tangent into a high high horizontal top line out okay next you can independently change the tangent for each side okay if you want to change the linear left side tangent to a free you can change it you can easily um, move the tangent free, freely without affecting the tangent on the other side okay what are the method of that they are free linear and constant what is free linear and constant free the tangent can be freely set by dragging the tangent handle it makes the it will make the tangent free from the other tangent okay other side tangent what is linear the linear makes a tangent point towards the neighboring key okay in a, a linear curve segment can be made by setting a tangent at the both end to be linear okay what happened we will show in practical okay i'm going to move this tangent and i'm going to make this as a linear this is a left tangent so i'm going to left tangent and i'm going to select linear you can see it is reset so i don't want it i'm going to make it as free again okay what is constant the constant the curve retain a constant value between two key the value of the left key determines the <coughs> the value of the curve segment sorry for that okay if you make this uh, key frame as a constant the left as a constant you can see you will see a constant curve will be applied i will be applied on that so that the value of that key will be determined from the left curve segment okay this are the method you can use to adjust the uh, the animation curve of the object okay let us play this animation and see how it's applies I think we are very fast. The animation is very fast. Okay, guys, let us see next tutorial. Next tutorial. Bye. See you.